Good morning. Welcome back to the Higher Grounds Podcast, Morning Minute Meditation. As I was reading this morning in the book of Acts, I come across a phrase in chapter number 10, and it's in verse number 36. The very last part of the verse is a parenthetical statement that makes this statement. He says, he, he is Lord of all, of course, referring to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, of course, every day in our life as a Christian, we use that term Lord many times in our prayers, in our walk, in our conversation. And the term Lord is a is a term of mastership, is a term of authority. It shows that the one you're referring to has authority over your life. As I thought about that and I thought about that statement, he is Lord of all, it is true that no matter what one does, they cannot change the fact that Jesus is Lord. Aren't you glad you serve a God that is Lord of all? That's a wonderful thing. But in Luke chapter number 6, Jesus speaking, he said this in verse number 46. He said, And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? So the fact that he is Lord of all is not going to be changed. But the fact that you call him Lord is to be evidenced by the way you live your life. So I ask you this question. Is the Lord of all being evidenced through the way you live your life? that he is the Lord of your life? Is his lordship prevalent in your life, or are you the one that is controlling the way you live? Jesus pretty much said in those terms in Luke 6, he said, you have no right to call me Lord if you do not the things that I say. What a sobering thought that is. May we truly live as if he is the Lord of our life. From the Higher Grounds Podcast, we hope you have a great day.